imagine you walking down the street frolicking about all happy and then you happen to bump into your best friend though you have no idea how because it's such a big world and I have a white patch on top of my hair which is really kind of like irritating me hairspray dry hairspray sometimes leave a white thing <laughs> anyway so you're frolicking down the street and your best friend comes up to you say I heard this rumor about you and you're like what the and then your best friends like why did you glance over at my boyfriend and you're just confused staring at her thinking wandering confusedly and you're just like I have no idea what you're talking about and it turns out that your best friend's best friend <laughs> that doesn't even make sense has gossiped in her ear and it's like oh she's done that and done this and done that and all of a sudden you're the big total bastard and you're just like left wondering why the hell did that happen okay maybe that's something that someone might do out of jealousy <laughs> I just had to start with a random thing like that just to make you go because ah! I like yeah Anyway, wouldn't it be nice if every time someone was jealous, they got they just yelled, I'm so jealous! So you know that they're jealous. Like, isn't that wonderful? But no, like, usually people will never admit that they're jealous. Like me and my partner, which we have, like, just discussed over and 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 over doesn't even sound like a word anymore, that I am very jealous about certain things and we always work it out. Firstly, I want to say that a long time ago, I don't know where and I don't know how and I don't know who said this, I can't remember, but I heard it somewhere. Someone said that jealousy is the fear of losing something, something that's very important to them. And I thought about it and I was thinking like, oh, is that true? Like, and I thought, wow, that person's got a point because if you're not fearing that you're going to lose something, why would you not be happy for your like best friend who's just got the promotion or your uh, something else that has the boyfriend or whatever that is? Like, if you're not afraid of losing something yourself, why wouldn't you be happy for them? Like, I can't even think of a reason. You have some people who might just be really, really quiet about it, who you probably will never know that they're jealous, even though, you know, they'll keep it inside and they'll still be really nice and they won't ever do anything to hurt anyone because they know that the jealousy is not a good thing to act upon. You may have a lot of people who won't admit it or never even in a million years will like even indicate slightly that they're jealous because they are just so trying to cover that up so but how can you tell you might wonder like how can you tell if someone is jealous if they won't admit it they won't just go openly and say I'm so jealous <laughs> and you have you might have one person who who's like doing evil things like you know spreading all these horrible rumors around about you and then you get another person who's like fuck off like you're doing shit job of being jealous like why are you so evil and then they, they do something else and then what they do is like they exclude you from things and they end up doing equally bad so you know you have two different types of people so what I'm trying to say is that there are so many different types of people and people deal with jealousy in so many different ways firstly let's look at jealousy in a relationship so when someone is jealous they're probably afraid that they're going to lose their partner, lose their boyfriend, lose their girlfriend, lose their wife or husband or whatever to someone else. That's their core fear that, oh my God, like this person is talking and being such good friends with like the other person. Oh my God, they're going to like, so uh, they might start becoming more controlling. They might like say, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't go out and see your friends or they get, might just get really angry and they just might just find faults in everything or they might even start talking negatively or whatever it is it, the basic thing is you will somehow pick up some kind of negative vibe so it could just be like the person who's jealous like is just trying to control someone else let's say if someone is jealous and that person is your partner and they're just really jealous that you're spending time with other people the sad thing is 
your partner is probably insecure. It's sad, like it's really sad because I've been there where I was really jealous and what I thought was like I was just this stupid ass idiot, like who would want to be with me? Anyone else would be more exciting, more entertaining, funnier. Unfortunately that's something that that person has to work through themselves. You can do all you can to help them but they are the ones who have to get it out of that state themselves. It's not your responsibility to you know get them out of the jealous state but you can tell because they might just be very negative about you know whatever that's they're jealous of. If someone is jealous of you because they see you as a threat now that is a different type of jealousy. That jealousy they might be they might do some nasty stuff to you if they're the type of person to act out their jealousy. So they might like talk about you behind your back and you're just like, like you're just like walking down to your friend one day and then your friend's like, you know what she says about you behind your back and you're just like, oh, really? Like she talks about me and you get the shock of your life because you never expected it. Well, that's happened to me actually. When I was in high school, I had a friend who I spoke to a lot. My friend also had one other friend. That other friend didn't really know me and I didn't really know them so we kind of just never talked. And every time my friend either be with me or the other person, one of us would be jealous. So I don't know, <laughs> does that even make sense? Like three-way friendships just seem to be really a poor choice when you don't know the third person very well. Like it just seems to be the perfect ingredient to throw into like for jealousy because it, it feels like Sometimes people don't know how to introduce two people really well and you end up having two people fighting for over one friend because they don't know each other so they're like like looking at each other with this ooh, like hatred and then the person in the middle like has no idea what's going on like I, I swear like my friend probably never knew that this even happened and once you feel like the other person is jealous of you maybe because they think you're stealing their best friend or something like that they might talk badly about you maybe they will even comment on how terrible your breath stinks maybe they'll they'll just make up all these horrible things about you maybe they'll just point out all your flaws maybe they will uh, just say something negative they might just like invite the entire group of people to their birthday party and then they leave you out just because they want to spite you or like they just you know it's like oh yeah revenge so you know there are so many things someone can do to show that they're jealous you will pick up some kind of negative vibe so you might just feel like oh they, they seem to not like me they seem to not be interested in me or they just seem to like have some kind of problem with me and that's the kind of feeling you're going to get and not, not everyone's gonna do that of course you're gonna have people who might be very direct and just say that they're jealous and oh wouldn't, wouldn't that be awesome if everyone did that <laughs> but no that doesn't always happen they might really want to make the other person feel bad so they're gonna do something like they might comment badly they might like say oh like that person's ugly or stupid or fat or pff, I don't know anything to bring someone down like they might say that behind you or to you or from you no, you can't say something from me but yeah but the, the point is that they will just find flaws in you, even things that should be celebrated. For example, you've got amazing grades, you've got something that everyone would consider to be a positive thing, but to that person it's terrible. They'll think of some reason to say why that is so terrible. And this is why I really feel like the kids can often tease other kids about good grades. Like if you think about it logically, why would kids um, tease other kids over good grades like what is the point of that why would people with good grades be cons uh, considered like nerds and things like that probably because the jealousy factor is there like you know what they can't get grades as good so they're just like Ow. yeah i'm not really good at doing that if you get a really good grade you likely have people make fun of it even like say oh like, this is stupid like which is ironic if they say it's stupid. Yeah, you know, it's just something that you will have to really think about the situation. Think about it, whether you're in a situation where someone could be jealous of you because when they don't know someone and when you see that person as a threat and you probably be like, I don't even want to know them. Like, I, I, it's like, you don't even try. So these people who are jealous of you might not ever want to try to get to know you because they're just so 
filled with jealousy that they can't see past that. And the tragic thing is, people who are jealous are often just really insecure that they feel so shit about themselves. Like maybe they've gone through stuff where people would put them down and they feel like they're the most horrible, useless crap person. And whenever someone comes along, that reminds them of just how terrible they are because for some reason, other people's merits becomes a harsh remind of what we lack. This is just something that happens. Like every time I hear, like I remember in the past, like I'll hear my partner laugh at something really loudly like over someone's joke and I'll just be like, oh, like, I'll just start feeling like I'm just really, really like boring. I don't get that anymore, but that was just something that happened back then. So these people, they, they feel really crap about themselves. And then they have this, who they consider to be like a much better, much more talented, much better looking or much whatever come, person come along to remind them of all their flaws that they just don't want to even think about. They're gonna be really jealous and it's it's really not your responsibility to get them out of it but if you can actually discuss it to them and try to talk to them because like sometimes talking to them might really even help them realize that they're jealous because sometimes people might be jealous without ever realizing that they're jealous which has happened to me in the past but it has happened so often that I have picked up on the fact that I get jealous and now it's like I know okay I'm jealous I'm, I'm gonna have to work on that so that's just coming a long way and I've been there where I've been jealous because I'm insecure because I, I felt stupid and people who are really amazing who say amazing stuff who say amazing things will just automatically remind me of how shit I feel about myself. I feel like if we all talked more openly about our jealousies, it's much easier to deal with it. If they're like me, they'll probably be like, what are you talking about? You don't know anything. I'm not jealous. Yes, I am. But my mind's gonna, you know, my mouth is gonna say the opposite. I feel like people often categorize jealousy as this horrible thing. But what we really need to realize is jealousy itself, the emotion jealousy, is very normal. Everyone gets it. It shouldn't be seen as this horrible thing that makes someone a horrible person. No, that is not the case. It's how they deal with it. Jealousy itself is not wrong. Just like, you know, when I was young, I was always told that if you're angry, then you're just the same as your uh, cruel biological father who's just the most selfish person in the world. And I always felt like, oh, if ever I got angry, I was a bad person. And no, that, that's not right. Our emotions are not right or wrong. Like, you know, we are allowed to feel what we feel. We can feel jealous and that is not wrong. It's what we do with it. <laughs> going off on a tangent even though I am talking about jealousy but anyway I've been there it is not pretty it is just not something that anyone would want to feel but sometimes shit happened in your childhood like when you feel like you're just so crap and like nobody would even like look at you that's when your jealousy is gonna be out of control so anyway I know I've kind of like went all over this topic like blah, blah, blah. I'm supposed to just talk about how to tell if someone is jealous. Hopefully you've gotten something out of it. So I will definitely chat more about topics like this if you love for me to do so. Love it if you could subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I will see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>